And now we get to the cool stuff. Hi, I'm Jim Park with today's trucking's ultimate test drive. We're in Nanaimo, British Columbia, giving this Mack MP8 505C Plus Maxi Cruise engine and an M Drive transmission a workout with a fully loaded Super B train. The truck we're driving today has the premium shift pad option, which allows drivers to manually shift the transmission's shifting parameters between performance and economy modes. As the names suggest, one leads towards more economical operation, where the power is rolled on and off more slowly and the shift points tend to be lower in the RPM range. The other takes the revs higher and it throttles more aggressively. The trade-off between the two, of course, is slightly higher fuel consumption. If you want to power up and accelerate faster, you can, but it may cost you. To illustrate the difference between the two, we ran two passes over the route that Richard Meyer of Nanaimo Max suggested for us, one in economy mode, one in performance mode. Watch the engine RPM in this split screen sequence, filmed taking off from a traffic light and going into a left turn. I used moderate throttle demand each time, the M drive set the shift schedules based on the mode I selected. The left panel is economy mode, the right performance mode. Watch how much higher the engine revs in performance. In Econo you can see where we were skipping gears and the revs were staying below 1600. In performance they went as high as 1700 and even to 2000 on one shift. Notice as well on the timer how long it took me to get up to 30 miles per hour. There wasn't that much of a difference for all the extra fuel we probably burned. The real difference between economy and performance is the way the engine and transmission determine power output. When you select performance, you're telling the controller to give you all the engines got. In economy mode, you're saying you can live with a slower launch, lower shift points and more economical performance. With a big load like this, the difference is obvious, but it's by no means a problem. Here's a little clip we shot climbing a hill in economy mode. It's a little bit difficult getting used to not having the uh, acceleration underfoot that you might expect. It just, it seems to be taking its time, which is fine if you're, you know, thinking in terms of fuel economy. If you uh, were expecting performance, uh, you might not get what you were looking for with this kind of weight. But still, we're making the upshifts here at about 1400 RPM. Definitely wasn't wanting anything, but we weren't uh, taking off like Jack the Bear either. If there's a perceived drawback to a 13-liter engine, it may be the engine brake performance. Compression brakes rely on a volume of air drawn into the cylinder and compressed by the piston to slow the engine. The larger the displacement, the higher the compression, the better the engine brake works. However, the M-Drive and MP8 compensate for this by allowing aggressive downshifts, sometimes as high as 2100 RPM, with the variable geometry turbo nozzle set for maximum air pressure. The engine brake, which Mack calls power leash, works better at mid and high RPM, and this engine certainly isn't afraid of getting the revs up when the engine brake is on. I'm gonna try a downshift here now just to get the engine brake working. We're 110 clicks at 1600 RPM. If we hit the downshift button, it takes me to 11th gear at about uh, 20, 2050 RPM, so you've certainly got some high end there when it comes to uh, better engine brake performance. If you want to call it a downside to a 13 liter, it's that you don't have the displacement to get really, really good engine brake performance. But when you can just drop a gear like that, it uh, sure bumps the engine brake into a better range. The axle forward pinnacle we used in this test drive has 46,000 pound rears with a 3.58 to 1 ratio. If that seems a little slow, it's because of the weight we pull here in Canada. You need horsepower to pull 138,000 pounds down the road at highway speed. So naturally, you're going to give up some fuel economy to do it. Still, we were cruising at 1425 RPM at 100 km per hour. Even that's about 200 RPM less than we would have seen a few years ago. At 1425, we're about 75 RPM shy of peak horsepower and about 300 RPM above peak torque. So that's a very nice gear for drivability and fuel economy. For the lighter 80,000 pound gross combination weights you see in the States, you can spec this truck to run about 150 RPM slower than this one to maximize fuel economy for those loads. And interestingly, with such low engine speed, the cab is really quiet. And because of that lack of noise, Dave McKenna says he hears a lot of low power complaints from drivers. You know, we talk about, you know, making the truck incredibly quiet, and the driver says, geez, it's got no power. You know, we put it on the dynamometer, and, you know, it's at spec or above, and the guy goes, well, I don't understand it. It's, it's so much quieter in my other truck. And I go, wait a minute, 
you know, please don't equate noise with power. You know, they're, they're two different things. You yeah. know, I used to shift by ear. Now I can't hear it. Well, <laughs> it will, tell you what, buy an M drive and you don't have to worry, worry about, about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> buy an M drive indeed. I frankly don't think powering big loads like this with a 13 liter engine, regardless of the power output, would be as successful without an integrated powertrain like this one offered by Mac. The M drive, I think, is the deal maker here. Its shifting strategies take full advantage of the available torque and, where necessary, horsepower, and it makes it all happen as fuel efficiently as possible. While pulling large loads with historically smaller displacement engines may be a bit of a novelty today, it'll soon become the norm. Mark my words. Whether it's engine braking you're worried about or powering up a big hill with a big load, Mac's latest engine configuration has it down. Check out part one of our test drive for even more on the MP8 505 C Plus Maxi Cruise. From the Duke Point loading yards near Nanaimo, British Columbia on Canada's lush west coast, I'm Jim Park for today's trucking's ultimate test drive. Drive safe and keep your revs down. <laughs>